I have a ton of fonts and it does take a bit to scroll through them. That is the only drawback. You can't really jump to whatever font you want. You have to scroll to it. Okay. Let's do arrows. Let me, let me do the arrows first. Use your words arrows. Okay. So you see if I type an A, I'm going to get this lowercase a. If I type capital A, I'm going to get this uppercase a. You can see these here. These are just your quick. If I type B, I'm going to get the word B. If I type uppercase B, let's see, I'm going to get uppercase B. And so on. C, can, D, do, E, eat, F, four. You can see what these all are here. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Okay, so you can see all of these different things and you even have the numbers that you're going to get. Let me delete all of this. What it didn't show you before is these special characters. Okay, so anything down here that has this blue box around it is an extra. It doesn't come up when you type the letter, but you can access it through this font manager. So let's see here. We have um, ever, even, end, easy, down, don't, each, feel, girl, gets. Like there's tons of extras in here. Even Jinx, wow, she put a lot of stuff in there. I'm going to use the word kind. So let's say I want this arrow with this word to be in my project. I'm going to click it and it's copied to my clipboard. And then I come up here and I just paste it. Control V is my paste. And now I get this kind arrow. That is the only way I can access that. If I just type in a K, I'm going to get keep. If I type in an uppercase K, I'm going to get this keep. The only way I can get kind is to copy and paste it from here. Uh, Mom, the same thing. If I click it, it copies to my clipboard. Come up here, Control V. It pastes. You can also right click and paste and it will do it that way too. So let's look at the banners. Use your words banners. If I type the H I'm going to get high. Uh, if I type a capital H I get the capital high. But you can see down here we have these ones with the blue boxes around them as well, and we have all the extra words like she did before. Dog, don't, I think dad was up here somewhere. Yeah, there's dad, cup, food, fun. And there's even different styles of banners that she has in here. So you can get anything that you want by coming into, this is called um, the private use area. You can come into the PUA and copy and paste all the extras. Huh. Okay, she's got it all, guys. <laughs> Didn't know that. I did not prepare completely for this tutorial before I started it. I just knew I wanted to show you guys this font, but I didn't dig that far into it. That's great. Okay, continuing on, let's go look at the circles. It's going to be the same way the same words are in your basic, you know, type your letters. I'm going to type out A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you see I get A, B, can, do, eat, for, go. And then down here we have um, the extra words. Okay, let me show you how to um, incorporate this font into Cricut Design Space. So if you followed previously, you know that we downloaded the font from FontCloud. We installed it onto our computer. And now, because we've done that, we can use it in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to open Cricut Design Space. Okay. Let's create a new project. Here we go. Okay, let's pull in some text. And I need to switch this font 
to use your words. I can actually type it in here. Oops. Okay, here's my use your words. What do we want to do? Arrows, banners. Um, let's do the arrows. I like the arrows. So here we go. And let's say I want to use, let's do the saying, hug in a mug. So we're going to want hug to be here and mug to be here. And maybe the word a. a was easy enough. So that's done. I just typed the A and that was there. But if I want hug, I've got my text open here again, also with use your words. I need to head back over to Font Cloud and I need to go back to my, what was it, banners, and see if there's a hug. Let me see. How convenient. Here's hug. Click it. So it's now copied to my clipboard. That's all I need to do. Back to Cricut Design Space. Click in here and paste. Control V. Hug. Hug. And now we need mug. So text. Come over to Font Cloud. See if the word mug is in here. If not, I can type it myself. Um, mug. Check it out. Okay. So I copied it. I clicked it. It's copied to my clipboard. Go over to Cricut. Type back into my text box. Paste. Okay. I'm going to delete the A. I'm going to type in a uh, in a different font. Let's see here. Let's do, I don't know. Let's try this here. Vintage Queens. Hug in a mug. I don't suggest anyone using this file. It's not the prettiest. <laughs> but you can see now how these characters work in Cricut Design Space, how you copy them from here, not type them out, but literally copy the character and then paste it into Cricut Design Space. But you need to make sure that your text box is on. Like if I'm on Vintage Queens right now and I try to do this, I, I come in here and I get sad. It's copied to my clipboard. I come up here and I paste it in. I'm going to get this funky character. Sometimes you'll get a question mark, sometimes you'll get an X. The reason for that is because you're in Vintage Queens and you need to be in um, Use Your Words. So let me get Use Your Words pulled up. And now you see it automatically switch to what it was supposed to be. So that's an error that a lot of people get and it's just because you're not in the right font up here. But if you're in the correct font up here, and you're copying and pasting your special characters from um, Font Cloud, they will automatically transport into Cricut Design Space. All right, guys, that's all I have. We'll see you next time.